Hey, in this video, I'm going to teach you why you need to study math first for your PTCB exam. So make sure you watch this video all the way to the end because you never know what little piece of information might be in the middle of this video that can help you to pass your exam. Hey guys, this is Onisha Biggs with another Pharmacy Tech lesson where your real pharmacy education begins. So today, I'm going to address a question that many people are having issues and struggles about and they're emailing us. And that issue is pharmacy math. So if you've been watching the channel for a while, then you probably already know that pharmacy math, when I was studying for the PTCB, that was one of my weakest areas. Just like a lot of the students that we're getting in our course right now, I would have a lot of issues with math and in particularly word problems. I just didn't know when it came to a long word problem, what numbers to use and what numbers not to use and how to figure out which ones to use and how to figure out which numbers to not use. So needless to say, I was really confused all the time and I would get very frustrated when it came to pharmacy math. Now, before I go too deep off into the math, let me first answer a question asked by one of our members of our group. Samantha asked, how much of the PTCB is math? All right, first off, thank you, Samantha, for the question. It's been a great pleasure to have you inside of the group. And also, if you're interested in being in the group, then see the link below in the description, okay? Just click that link and it'll take you right on through where you can request to be added as a member. But we're only taking serious people only, okay? So there is a possibility that you could get kicked out of the group if you're coming in there and you're not really serious about passing the exam or excelling in pharmacy. Okay, so Samantha, just a direct answer to your question. You may have heard people say, well, well, when I took the test, I only had uh, mostly math or I had mostly drugs on there uh, on my test. That was the majority of my test. Or I only had mostly law um, when I took the test. But the reality is that generally speaking, 18% of the PTCB exam is going to be math. Okay. Now, there are realistically possibilities that one person may get more math, one person may get more law, or one person may get more drug names or pharmacology. Some people may even get more customer service questions. Now, for those of you that may be struggling with math, I want you to realize this, you don't always have to struggle with math. All it takes is your commitment and your dedication and realize that it is a process, okay? Take one of our students, Danielle, for instance, who was having the toughest time when she first started our course with the math. I remember when I first talked to Danielle, she was struggling so bad. I mean, every time she mentioned math, her voice it was just down it was just in a monotone she wasn't excited at all so after about two weeks Danielle had no need for more in-depth one-on-one sessions so what I mean by that is she would just schedule a simple one-on-one -on -one session for a follow-up on a couple of practice questions here and there it wasn't like we were actually having to go in depth with problems like we were at first so there was progress being made Danielle had gotten so comfortable with the practice problems she could practically do them in her sleep so I say that to say this don't worry about the math but put yourself in a position where you can get quality practice and you can thrive. Now, as you know, we've offered the PTCB walkthrough course uh, for about two months now, and I have good news and bad news. The good news is many of our students and even members of our group have been successfully getting certified this year, and our 2000 tech goal is in effect and we are almost there to reaching it. But sadly, the bad news is we're gonna be closing the course at the end of May so we can make some adjustments. But there is hope. If you struggle in math, are unsure if you're ready for the test, or you just don't know exactly what to study, send an email to pharmacytechlessons at gmail.com right now so that you can get the lessons before the enrollments close this month. Hey, listen, you guys, I appreciate you guys for watching the channel. I'm reading all your comments. I'm seeing all of the likes. I'm reading all of the progress that's being made on the social media and also getting you guys' emails. And it is just delightful to see you all growing in the pharmacy technician world. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Please like and subscribe. This has been Onisha Biggs with another Pharmacy Tech Lesson. I'll see you next week.